So we're at 77% completion. Um, my goal today is, again, uh, not a 100% completion, but my phase on mines. My goal is to uh, get a couple more things, E-tanks and such, artifacts, and then, yeah, maybe just Phase go straight. Mines. Go straight from there. Vinny, I loved your Among Us video this morning. When do I get my check? No check for you. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a fun one. It ended up being... I thought it was going to be a sh like a complete shit show, but with a little bit of editing... It ended up being surprisingly funny. At least I thought so. Hang on, so chat, I have to, uh, do a couple things in this game. Okay. I have to crush some space pirates between my thighs. Okay, so... There's apparently... I think it's over here. There's some upgrade... that I need to get. Um, maybe I'll get that now? I think it's, um, so up here, and then right here, chat, there's the upgrade. Just want to double check if anyone knows. Okay, so we're gonna try to go fast and just run through enemies and not, not get hit. That's the goal. So like I said, we've got a, um, for anyone just joining wondering why this is early, I have a an album premiere I'll be doing, and I wanted to do it at a time where it wasn't tremendously late. Like, the album launches at midnight, but we're gonna get started around 10.30, 10, 10.30, depending on when I finish this in Pizza Tower. So, I have the need for speed. Like Brad Kilmer in Top Gun. Okay, we're, we're just we're just gonna be running through these lads. Just going, going quick. Really don't have. I think there's just like two major bosses left. I think we're really. Yeah, we're pretty much done with the game. I was hoping to get maybe some E tank stuff. But even then, I don't, I don't think... I want to spend too much time backtracking across the land. There's toddlers in this headset! Chat, really though. That Among Us video, they were nice. There were a couple, like, people that weren't nice. But, um, people were like, Vinny, why would you subject yourself to playing with toddlers? The thing about that was, I just thought it would be funny to go into a group of randos. But consistently, for an hour and a half, every group was just babies. It wasn't the intent, it just kind of happened. These babies, men! They were just there. So I, you know... I played Among Us. And you know what? Most of them were really nice. <laughs> There's only a couple, like, jerk... jerk children that were like, You're a... you're a dick. Only a couple. Everyone else was... was pretty nice. It was... It was a, uh... It, it was a weird day, but... I hope they enjoyed my totally real voice. That is a 100% real voice, by the way. Oh. Oh. Oh! oh. Hey, 
Oh, this fucking room. It's fine. It'll be worth it for the upgrade chat. Is this the famous backtracking game? Yes. Not just the famous backtracking game, the famous backtracking series. God, that turret took a long time. Space pirates. All right. Really making me use this ice beam. Oh my god. Um, I saw Mandalorian. Just to have something to talk about. And I already forgot what happened in it. It was fine. It was fine. It, they're just setting stuff up. After Andor, I'm- um, whoa. Hello? Crust? Cr crust? Hello? 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 Crust? Crust, crust, crust. What is that? Crust? Yeah, you good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm alright. I was just hearing some crust on the microphone there. Um, after Andor, going back to Mandalorian is, is different. I still really, really wish that they waited to bring back Baby Yoda. Like, for- like, they couldn't bear to be away from the Baby Yoda, Grogu, for a- a short amount of time. Because they thought, like, well, if he's not being cute in an episode, think of all the merch... ...money that is just left on the table. Well, that bank shot actually hit. And so they- they couldn't- they couldn't let that happen. Um, but, you know, that said, the show's fun. It's just... There are... I'm used to now the way Andor told its story, which I like a lot. And, like, the... This is definitely some of the better Star Wars that's existed. And, um, it's, it's pulpy. It's very pulpy. But I'll probably end up enjoying it if they keep the quality somewhat consistent, and hopefully they don't throw cameos. You know what? They did. They overloaded us with cameos, but it wasn't of specific characters. It was like sal Salacious Crumbs race. Babu Frick's race. It was just like, well, here's all these aliens that you know already. Hang on a second, chat. My, uh, my mixer, my mixer is giving me some problems. You hearing this crust? Glup Shitto was there? Yeah, alright. Crust is now gone. Okay, much better. Um... Alright, so we got a force field, and I don't know how to... What do you think? Scan things upstairs? Oh. Locked. Oh, okay. Space Pirate Life Signs Only. Okay. 
didn't have power bombs before. I'm assuming the prime speedrunners are always in ball. Or as much as can be. Because you can, you can do stuff like that. Or they're just jumping out of bounds, that's fine too. Someone said, Vinny, are you having a good day? I've been feeling a little crusty lately, chat members. I'm having an approved evening, but I've been I've been feeling a little crusty, just physically. I think it's um just a little fatigue, or maybe it could be the long Ovid. Could be. I don't know. This isn't really a new thing. Kind of comes and goes. It, you know, I, I could be just talking out my butt. I don't. I have no idea. Or I could just be a little tired. Maybe the weather. Aside from that, though, I'm doing the best I can, and that's not too bad. So thank you for asking. Today, though, I cooked. So I was busy making, like, cheddar cheese meatloaf things, which they say it's meatloaf. It's just, like, burger. That you eat without a bun. They were good, though. Um, and then the rest of the day, I was... finishing up video stuff for the premiere because I edited two of the videos. Um, getting all of it ready, you know, for YouTube uploads, uh, Bandcamp, um, even the eight second clips that you'll see on Spotify, which you then, if you want to do that, what you have to do is cut up the video a little bit and get like the best moments. And you have to do that manually so that it equals a vertical eight seconds. So that took me a while um, for 10 different songs. So yeah, it's been, it's been busy. Um, on top of that, I do handle like the business end of things as well. So yeah, I haven't really had, m t today and the past week, I haven't had a ton of time to myself. I mean, it's a good busy. When you work on something you like and you believe in, it's not, that's not too bad. You know, if you're working for, like, a guy named Lyle... ...and he doesn't even let you wipe your ass... ...without an argument... ...then it sucks. Fucking Lyle. I heard them Japanese toilets, though, are quite... ...quite amazing, chat. I've only heard. Oh, Stan? You gotta try it. You gotta try it for yourself, Stan. No, I'm just making up- I'm just using a name. I, I could have said Mort, or... What else is like a, a boss name, chat? Uh, that wasn't a specific reference. People are like, who's been you talking about? No, no, literally just a name. Fucking Metroid. That'd be Metroid bullshit. Go oh, get out of here, baby Metroid bullshit. Is it, it... Is this correct? Like, 
What the fuck am I doing in here again? Remember those things that you would have, like, that had, like, little, like, rings that you had to press the button? And, and, like... Yeah, I went back to the entrance by accident, chat. Yeah, the bubble rings. All right, L let's go back because that was a mistake. I, mean, I hope the flamethrower was worth it. I think it is. I think it is. Would you play more Hitman levels, one levels, anytime soon? Um... Yeah, I think I might have burnt myself out on Hitman a little bit. But I probably will. I don't know when. And I'd also like to do more of the Hitman Freelancer, because that was fun too. But... I could do that pre-recorded as well. I'm just... Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to do. I swear, I've played Hitman in the worst way possible. I started with two. Then I played three. And then I'm ending with one. back on track. We are back on track, Jack. Back to the elite research room. Is elite the boost? Best YouTuber? Wait, elite research room? Not Metroid Quarantine? What are you, what are you talking about? Maintenance on um artifact. Well, where is that room? It's it's up there. Oh 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 oh, chat chat. I gotta go back up there. <sighs> this is the backtracking game. The game leads you back there once you beat the boss. No. Got 
God damn it, chat. God damn it. Elite research. Oh, yeah, the problem is... I didn't ever actually check where the artifacts were. So I've just been relying on chat telling me where they are. Elite research. Are these like... No. I think it's right there, right? All these fucking turrets! P-bomb the homie? Oh, this is the special scan. Phazon Elite Pirate. Pirate infused with energized Phazon. The Phazon charged Elite Pirate rely more on their wave quake generators opting not to carry the vulnerable plasma artillery cannons normally used by elites. The direct fusing of Phazon into their bodies provides a tremendous level of energy. The drastically lower lifespan that comes with this process is of little concern to the pirate research team. strong. Do you remember the infamous glitch in this room? No. Three remain. Vinny, what are these crackling noises? What crackling noises? Chat, do you hear crackling noises? I know early on my microphone was crackling, but that stopped. Also, Grotto Beasts is now available for pre-order. It's a little expensive, but for the quality. And also that it's custom and not mass-produced. But it looks cool. Yeah, I got I got me a grotto beast. Will you ever make vine beasts? I, that's just too much. That's just too much of an undertaking. I'm- I'm happy with Grotto Beasts, I'll just play that instead. Boy, there sure are a lot of Metroids in this room. Fuck. There sure were a lot of Metroids in this room. Someone said I would do anything for meat to be a Grotto Beasts card. That would be fun. Even though meat is not an original character. Vinny, will you make more kerosene vinyl? Boy, one thing at a time. I 
I, I'm glad you like that one. I think the chances are definitely yes in the future, but considering how much time and money was spent on the repressings of the previous ones, and how much effort the new one is going to be, that one will probably be a, a while away. But, uh, thank you for asking, and I hope one day I'll have a better answer for you. Does Microsoft own Earthworms? If you lobby hard enough, you could copyright Earthworms. Wrong way. Um, when are you going to start selling your Crystal Head Vodka? Oh. Just checking, see if there's anything in here. Um, also, chat, there was a gameplay trailer for Dead Island 2. It looks pretty good, actually. I watched most of it. I was, like, kind of surprised. In my mind, Dead Island is now, like, a joke. For some reason. Well, possibly because it's been, like, vaporware for a long time. But... It didn't look completely, like, terrible. It didn't look... Didn't look bad at all, in fact. Actually, getting your hands on the game and playing it is different than watching a preview. But... It looked better than I expected. Someone said Diablo 4. Hang on. So I'm going... ...this way, and then I'm going this way, and down, correct? Yeah, let's, um, let's talk for a minute about Diablo, because there is a beta coming soon. I'm gonna talk as a Diablo fan. I'm a little disappointed there's only five classes and no Paladin or Crusader. Okay, now that's all I care about saying in that regard. Um, Blizzard eats dick. And they've been awful. It's not the Blizzard we grew up with. I know that they still can do decent... WoW expansions, apparently. But Blizzard is just a rotten shell of its former self. However, I watched some gameplay footage of it. And it looked like Diablo. The art style's nice. You, you, you hit enemies and loot drops out and it explodes out of them. Now... The problem isn't that. The problem is, will there be... ...microtransactions? How monetized is the game gonna be? The problem is gonna be, like, skill tree stuff, because if it's more like Diablo 3... I- that game, the way that game was set up, to me, was unfortunate, because... I always felt more of an attachment to my character in 2, and 3, everything just felt so, like, ephemeral. I think it was, like, more equipment-based. So, if they're going more, like, in the direction of 2, where your character can be, like, pretty different, and you kind of lock into it, I would be happy with that. So, I don't know, I mean, if your expectations are so fucking low, you don't care anymore, Anything is a nice surprise. So, I'm not even, like... When I think about the games I want this year, Diablo doesn't enter into it. And if it ends up being good, and not like a Diablo Immortal, like, over-monetized piece of crap... Then, um... Great. That's a, a bonus. But I don't... I don't really know how I feel about that. You gamble it, sis.
Yeah, I don't know. This is all new. You know, and for the record, if you're, um, you know, some people have different levels of enjoyment for different things. Like, there are things that I may see in, like, a Diablo game that I'm not into. That maybe some other people are. You know, I just, I just know that I like that style of game, but I know how easy it would be to, like, fuck it up or to at least make it less appealing to do repeat playthroughs. And, and with a game like Diablo, like, that's the longevity of it. Because once you get through the campaign, it's not usually a very long campaign for a, a game like that. You're just playing over and over and over again. So how do you keep that fresh and fun and interesting, especially for, like, a multiplayer thing? And, um, I'm not sure Blizzard... I'm not sure I have faith in them to, to nail that. Even if we're getting rid of the, uh... All the, the controversy with the money stuff and everything else that Blizzard has been lately. But, um... So yeah, that's my thoughts on Diablo. But, again, it looks... Visually looks great. And, and when you pulp enemies and stuff pops out of them... That looks great, too. So, props to the art team. Vinny, have you ever hold of, uh, heard of this old indie band called Bon Jovi? They have a couple of interesting songs. I heard that one song where he's on a fucking motorcycle horse. Someone said Bon Jovi is like a worse Aerosmith. <laughs> well, I gotta be honest, chat member. I'm not exactly an Aerosmith fan. And, uh, hearing that you are putting Jovi at the bottom, bottom, bottom of the barrel there. Why? I think... I think Aerosmith is fine. Of the Smith that I know, they're, they're, they're fine. They're not the American Led Zeppelin or the best American rock band. Whatever. I've heard both of those things. They're just a fine rock band. Was there something under the mushroom chat? There is. Oh, the Phazon is the Crackle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the Crackle. That's like, um... Yeah. What is it called? 3.6 Ronkin. Geiger counter. Not great, not terrible. I don't know, we, we had the conversation of best American rock band, and that's, for me, it, it's gonna vary person to person, but I love Tom Petty. So Tom Petty's kind of my guy lately. But I also think The Doors and Nirvana kind of qualify in their own way 
for their own achievements in the in the rock band space whether or not you like them they you know I'm talking about like influence and sales and all that but uh there's there's a lot there's a lot of great American rock bands I just don't think Aerosmith is is up there I think they're just they're fine I know there's going to be people that disagree, and that's fine. I can, I can, uh, I can understand why people would like them. What about Metallica? I, I'm not the biggest Metallica fan, but any up until like Black Album and even some of Load, I think that they were they were pretty great. But I also think uh, Chris Cornell from Soundgarden. Like, Soundgarden just had it all. Great, you know, great instrumentation. One of the best singers in rock. Love these little scummy blue caves. Oh, God. Whoa! Hmm. Face on mine. Love scummy blue caves. You know, chat, I just didn't think I was taking that much damage. Like, the damage started kind of light, and then down there, it went mental. And by the time I, I had a chance to look at my health, it was too late. Speed run. I gotta do this again. Dumb. Very, very dumb. And I'm on a timer. did that. Someone said, I wonder why mods allowed that comment. Have you considered that mods aren't looking at chat every moment? Here. Let's see. Okay, I'll just take care of that. <laughs> it's their job. Do you think I pay my mods? Do you think Twitch mods in general get paid? I mean, exposure, sure. A few of them do. Well, God bless them. The point is, I have no problem if my mods have a life. But no, they don't actually... They're not like Big Brother 1984. You know Big Brother 1984, chat? Well, Big Brother 1984 would be able to take every message into consideration at all times. 
but sometimes they slip through and then you just have to either, you know, tell a mod or ignore the chat member and hope that they die. That happens too sometimes. You could just do that. Yeah. Why well, you have to be mad? It's only chat room. No, but we- I took care of the, the disgusting chat member. Don't worry, he can't hurt anyone anymore. Okay, very quickly get this. Let's not die down here. Okay. All right, chat. Well, that was like a, a, you know, that was a decent time sink. That death, that 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 actually sucked quite a bit. Okay, okay. Just gotta get over there. There we go, there we go, okay. Alright, Chad, let's try again. This time... I'm gonna be so careful. So we're not going down this way. That that's bullshit. That's what that is. That's bullshit and death. Fine. Can I even grab that? Yep, I can, I can, I can, I can. Okay, I think there's a safe point on the other side here. That's not cool. All right, we are safe. No, we're not. Oh, fuck, there's a map room. Or missile room. No. No, no. Oh, boy. I needed a save point, not a missile room.
Oh. Vinny, why you hate the thermal visor so much? I... I, I really don't like the way it looks in this game. The blurriness of it. I think this is the one thing that they... They dropped the ball on. Even though it makes cool noises, but that's just... It always made cool noises. Yes, mushroom... Uh, It's a shame they made it so goddamn blurry. Because it is very useful. Come on! God damn it. Chat. I know I'm not supposed to be able to reach this from here, but it's not going to stop me from trying. Someone said I would love a taste of Phazon. It probably tastes like Warheads. Or, like, triple Sour Patch Kids. Oh, there was- I had a weird dream. Hang on. Uh... Where's my notes? Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb. I- I had a dream. I knew I woke up and wrote something in my phone. And I forgot what it was. Oh god, that's so dumb. I thought it would be like a cool band name. <laughs> I don't even want to say it out loud. It's it's that bad, chat. It's that stupid. God damn it. It's okay. It's really stupid. It's uh dead skin cells. But s <laughs> the cells is spelled S E L L S. Like, apparently I thought that was so good, I had to write that down in my, um, phone. From a dream. Or you could just do skin cells. Which it does. And then you have social commentary. Data suggests that Omega Pirate lifespans are critically low. High levels of phase on exposure are causing rapid cell degeneration in all test subjects. No subject lived longer than two decacycles in our simulations. Their lifespans must be increased to be cost effective. As we continue to observe the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They are incredibly resistant to damage, 
and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays of our ground forces. Though they're not as quick as typical pirates, it makes little difference with a, plato with a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army of normal and flying pirates, we will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide of any battle, of any engagement. Um, the system is very effective against beam weaponry. We are alarmed at the field's inability to handle missile attacks, however. Science team is working around the clock to correct this critical design flaw. The Omega Pirate cannot afford such a weakness in battle. Hey, a save point. Fire? Oh no, that's just duendes. That's all that is. Nothing to worry about. Skinner! Cheers, and fuck you too. Yeah, I saw that one. Phase on processing efficiency at maximum, production at 170, 187% and rising. Health alert, phase on radiation warning is still in effect. Do not enter a phase on processing area without level 8 radiation gear. Prolonged exposure is 100% fatal. Gonna get a little bit of exposure to the phase on radiation. Oh, shit. Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked, as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower.
Oh shit, regular pirates. Where is Oli um Oli Omega? Where is he? Oh, there we go. There we go. Just a little bit more. Damn, chat. I didn't quite get it. Oh, I gotta do it again. I did- I didn't one cycle, chat. I didn't one cycle. Oh, that's bullshit. I got this, I got this. I'm waiting for you. Phase on suit. Your suit has been infused with pure phase on. This corruption prevents damage from phase on radiation. Boy, we're getting a whole lot of use out of that emote. I mean, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Even if it is just a re-colored, um, Varia suit. Go back to the Phazon room for an artifact? Oh, you mean the, the one that I died in? How much do you think Samus weighs? Like with the with the suit, how, like with the suit on. One ton. I uh, well, I burnt the one ton soup. Damn it, Metroids. I don't have time for this.
Which room was it? Like up the cylinder room. Oh, the cylinder room. Oh god, I'm out of power bombs. Oh, this- oh god, it's a new Metroid. Fission Metroid. Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. The Fission Metroid is a mutant capable of splitting in two. The split endows this, the new creatures with invulnerability to most weaponry. This effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weaponed fire. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic, chaotic nature of Phazon mutation. Oh, right, the invisible things. Hey, Metroid, I'm your mother. Please stop. Stop all the violence. No one getting that early. Nintendo announced that Fusion is coming to NSO on the 9th. Would you recommend? Yes, Metroid Fusion is great. Easy recommend. The problem is, are you paying the extra money for... Enh enhanced NSO. If you already are, then yeah, the value's amazing. Just to get, a, like a, I say free, but to be able to play Fusion. They just need to get Zero Mission on there now. Wow, these Metroids are real assholes. Not enough distance. Oh. Oh. 
I hate it. I, I mean, I just want Pikmin 4. I, I just hate it. Oh, God. Chat, I, this, is, this is the worst part of this game right here. And I'm too lazy to go all the way back to jump on the mushroom. I did it. I jumped on the mushroom. Look at how much time that would have saved. Please let... Oh, thank you. You didn't have to land on the mushroom. Metroid's getting in my way. I'm saving. I have very important business here, Metroids. Leave me alone. Which artifacts do you have? Um... Does that help? I have two left. I don't know which two those are, but... Bye, fucker. <laughs> e tank. so many of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to go to next. Check the artifact list. Near here is the elevator to the Magmore Caverns. Yeah, is there supposed to be... Is there another one here? Or... Because there's two. Phase on mines is done. One of them is the Clizzard artifact. This'll keep that Clizzard King from playing with the dwarves. Maybe this'll keep- You know, you, you gotta really get into it for that line. Alright, 
right, we're gonna we're gonna take that elevator up to Magmore. Probably be fine. No! This speed run is over. No. No. Not no patience. There it is. What if I didn't make that jump? What kind of ungodly noise would have escaped my mouth at that point? Okay, next artifact. <clears throat> Chozo ruins? Well, let's see the list. I told you, I told you. There's two left. There's two left. <laughs> This one? And uh, this one. What is this? Look at actual list for hints. I think I had to scan the statues to get the hints. Are you going for 100% scans? Someone said, oh no, are you still going for 100% scans? No, I never set out to do that. I, I missed a couple. Okay, that is Fendrana Drifts. Am I... I think I'm going to Talon Overworld, right? No Chozo Ruins? Go to Talon last. Alright, well, I can go to Fendrana. Um, 
Chozo Ruins is really fucking far. I don't know if we're finishing this tonight, chat. I also need to play Pizza Tower and be done by 10-ish. Well, you know what it is? Last time I was asking chat, and not to blame this on chat, but they were like, no, you got an hour and a half left. And I don't remember enough. I mean, I died and I was, you know, doing stupid shit, so that didn't help. But I, my expectations were set improperly. I should have started earlier. That would have been the better move. But we'll just go through all of Magmore Caverns, that's no problem. Let's see. Go to Talon, then... ...for shortcut. It's- it's faster to go to Talon, and then Chozo. Okay. You know what else it's faster? It's faster to just, like... ...swim in the lava. It's faster to do that, as well. Well, that's Chozo Ruins West. Regardless, we have to... We have to go there. I am missing one E-Tank. But, I don't mind. I can live with that. Remember the reserve tanks in Super Metroid? Yeah, I guess someone said I missed those. I, I kind of do, but at the same time, they're just E-tanks. They're kind of pointless, yeah, I mean, you fill them up by farming. So if you're in, like, an area with a lot of respawning enemies, you can just farm, fill them up, and then they automatically fill up your energy. So I can kind of see why they got rid of them. Vinny, today we have e-girls instead. Alright, that's a plus two to the chat member. I enjoyed that. Alright, what room is the thing in chat? The artifact. The Sun Chamber? Where you fought Flagra? Oh. You have to go in from the side near the elevator. So, like... Oh boy.
Really, I got stuck on a beetle? A uh, lightning bug, actually. Northerner calling it lightning bug. What do you call them? Fireflies. Oh, yeah, well, that's... Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, why do I call it lightning bug? Scan the symbols. It's two. pillars. Oh. It's like magic. 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 Creatures. Fuck you, creatures. Oh, I hate the creatures. <laughs> Chat! I, ah! I'm fine. I am fine. saw that. This is power beam only, right? Yeah. Forgot about that.
All right. Last artifact, I believe, is here in the Hall of Elders. All right, chat. Final artifact, Hall of Elders. It's a little ways away, but we'll get there. Ah! <laughs> Fucking tentacles, man. Snapping around, snapping off. So... So we're going... I got it. I mean, there's really not any space pirates here, right? In, um, Chozo Ruins? So, in order to beef up the difficulty upon return, they give you these fucking Chozo ghosts. Unsettled spirits. I wonder if the- yeah, I think- they said in a log that the ghosts were actually attacking the space pirates. Maybe they got sick of being attacked and they were just like, We're not going back there. Fuck that place. I too would also book it. It's like, you hear like some of these, um, these stories of people living in homes with ghosts and like terrible things happen. If you don't believe in ghosts, then none of this happened. But let's just say for, for a second that they believed <laughs> that the ghosts were harassing them and then they don't leave. They just stay in the house. But you know, some people can't afford to just leave. Even if they are being, like, harassed by ghosts. And then how the fuck do you tell people that you left your house and spent an exorbitant amount of money, maybe, to move because you were being harassed by ghosts? Like, how do you say that to people? There's an item in this room, I think. Or like the, um, the houses in the middle of, like, cornfields where aliens, like, destroy their cattle and, like, harass them as well. And the Duendes as well, they, they, they're there as well. Oh, I don't have a power bomb. Item isn't worth it. Bazon burn their consciousness into the physical realm. Oh, that's why they're all ghosty? Yeah, because the Chozo are a pretty peaceful race, which is why they make these weapons of mass destruction that they give to Samus. Alright, it's me, Ringo. I'm warning you with peace and love. Please take these beam weaponry and missiles 
under threat of extreme peace, love, and violence. This weaponry was made from the finest beans. They are wise, but not really peaceful. Do they speak softly and carry a big dick? So I guess we're going to Talon now. South or east? Talon. Talon. Tal. On. Tex. Mix. Wouldn't it be great if things in real life just made cool, like, weird noises like that? It just like... We have computers in our homes, chat, and they don't make weird noises. Like when they showed halls of computers, like Enyaks, put together, they always had like cool beep boop noises. Our, our computers just like, we just hear coil whine. They're still loud. Yeah, I guess so. But not in a fun way, not like a beep boop way. And like, this doesn't sound right. Because everything has LEDs now, but I want things that make noise on purpose. Landing site. I guess. I saw LED charging cables. Where, like, the actual cable itself looks like it's giving power to your device. I don't know, it was advertised on Twitter. I, I guess that's... I guess that's the kind of shit they're advertising now to make money. If there's any money to be made, which I don't think there is, but whatever, I don't, I don't know anything about business. I swear to God, like, every time I see an ad for something on Twitter, it's just like some scam product. <laughs> With a bunch of emojis, like eggplant and, like, wet emoji. This scooper of pet pooper will change your life.
or like um, things that can cut vegetables fast. I bought one of those slap chops, you know, chat. That Vince offered. He was like, that's his name, Vince Offer. He was like, I got a slap chop for you. You're gonna love these nuts. And then, like, he just slaps. He slaps the nuts. And I used it a little bit. It, it was fine. But then you just kind of end up going back to using your knife. It's actually more of a hassle to clean it. It's like, okay, so it's fast to slap things in a small radius and like cut them and that's nice, but then you actually have to do a little work to clean it. So I feel like the work balances out to about the same amount. Whereas if you just are good with your knife and you can chop real fast and like, you know, rock it back and forth and stuff, you can, you can, re you can achieve similar time results. You may not win a speed run, but you can still slap and cut. Ridley Scott's here to make his new movie. Oh no, he wants to make another alien movie. Stop him. love how they gave him, like, missiles and stuff. Looks awesome. The model looks awesome. This whole fight looks really, really good in the remake. Meta Ridley, genetically enhanced Ridley Metaform, reborn and evolved through pirate technology. Meta Ridley is a fearsome enforcer. His armored hide is extremely resilient, save for the chest, which has thinner plating. The pirates have fused a number of potent weapons to the creature, including a multi-missile system, a kinetic breath weapon, a mason bomb launcher, and an ultra-thermal flame strike projector. Words? Meta Ridley is also a formidable melee combatant, making any sort of engagement a risky prop proposition. Missile hit, hit missile. God damn it. It chases for a little while. Ridley's destroying the ruins, everybody. Oh, shit. Ah, shit.
I feel like someone should mix in Liquid Snake yelling at Snake from the helicopter during that fight in Metal Gear Solid. See you in hell! Brother! I'm going to watch that new Vine Sauce video. I heard he's a fan of mine. Ah. Uh. God, it just... Ridley, just stay put for five minutes. Five, five minutes, that's all. Just five minutes. I mean, if you have a lot of E-Tanks, you do have enough health for the fight. The health isn't a problem, it's the waiting. fucking super missile. <laughs> Nothing happened. Bad timing. A little bit more. Fucking timing. Ridley, I swear on me, Jacobs. really haven't even gotten the patterns down for this part. Almost. Almost. I got the pattern. No, nope, never mind. Nope. Too far away.
I'm just I'm just face tanking at this point, chat. Got it. A little late, but thanks. Yeah, like, I would honestly, like, not even live here. Because they're just ghosts. Um, whoa. That was a nice voice crack. Chat, chat, is there a save point ahead? Or should I go back to the ship? Impact Crater. I don't know how long this would take, but maybe we'll just try it. Twenty minute. Actually, twenty minutes? No, pizza's not shafted, chat. Limited data on unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic qualities at least 86% greater than Phazon. Unshielded bioforms below index level P will suffer fatality within moments. Now these are some scummy noises. Sounds like the noises are alive. So there's a door here, and there's one on, on the other side, too, up there. Try this one first. Missile room. It just shoots missiles into her, her arm cannon backwards. And then gives the, the, the arm cannon a good polish, for good measure. Fuck. Please go away. Speak. Ah. 
Am I missing something here, chat? Oh. Yeah, I was missing something. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see This is very scorn like. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't see through the scorn texturing. I feel like Gandalf. I have no memory of this place. This is it, Luigi. This got a really, really good graphical upgrade from what I remember, which is to say nothing, so never mind. <laughs> Just looks nice. Title drop. Metroid Prime. Highly evolved Phazon producing life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. I think this is one of the Metroid games where collecting a fuckload of missiles is most useful. Like, they, they all are, but this one feels like... Because of the, how powerful the, the missile beam attacks are. It's like, collect... Collection is extremely important. No, we're not. God, this fight is so fucking cool, though.
Alright. Whoa! The fuck? Uh, wrong button. That was the wrong button. Ah, waste. I don't know how to get out of that attack. My super missile got reflected back at me. It's a lot of waste you got there, chat. Next area, next area. Here we go. Time. I'm still doing okay on the health, at least. God. Little bit more, little bit more. More ice. The old power beam. <laughs> oh, you thought it was over. That's cute. Is that like animals? Metroid Prime, the core essence of Metroid Prime. Scan indicates that the Phazon energy form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from Phazon fused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's Phazon weapon system. The entity can also spawn Metroids. to assist it in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so.
You heard right, chat. Phase on weapon systems. Hyper mode. one. Wouldn't it be great if you could just have the phase on weapon at all times? And not at all broken and cheap. Ah, oh, I didn't really get a chance to do too much damage there. There's also the Hyper Beam at the end of Super Metroid. And Metroid Prime 3 has a, uh... I remember, has, has like a phase-on cannon mode that you could enter. Remember that being pretty cool. Halfway. I guess you just have to wait. Yeah. A little bit more. A couple more times. I can't wait for the new Metroid series to start. Metroid Pulp. spawning more powerful Metroids now.
Meaning I can't, like, destroy them in one hit. One more good one. One more good one. Yeah, that was Samus's soul. Oh, I forgot, you don't actually play through the escape sequence in this one. I guess you do at the very beginning. I ain't never heard this narration in my life. She looks awesome, by the way. Chat, you gotta compare this helmetless uh, Samus to the original. It, the difference is night and day. This is so good. Wait, Metroid is girl? Chat, do you get another ending? If you 100%, I forget. Do you get anything? You do. What do, what do you get? Oh, the Dark Samus teaser. That's right, that's right. I do remember um, going for 100% in uh, the original when I first played it, but... I don't know if we're going to have time for uh, the whole credits, but I will say that this... Playing through this again, I noticed some things that were not perfect. I don't think the game is perfect, but I still love it. And I think for its time, and even now, it's a phenomenal game. And I think that the game has so many things right. It does so many things right. And I love the world it creates. I love, like, actually getting into it. And, uh, it's... It's awesome. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But, you know, it still does so much better than it does wrong. Hang on a second. Huh. I'm noticing that this is a little... Like, the, the game capture is a little dark compared to what's on my TV. Hmm. I 
It's just more X bullshit. X split bullshit. Capture card color range is wrong. It says, well, I got full dynamic range checked. Hmm. I don't know. Um, full dynamic range. If I turn it off, it then does some different bullshit. So I, I don't know. I have to maybe look into this. Your usual stream ready screen has looked darker to me. It has been, yeah, since the XSplit update. Well, anyway, um, let me let me wrap this up and play some Pizza Tower because I do have a little bit of a time concern here, which is I want to finish Pizza Tower by like 10:30. Um, I do have an album premiere tonight. The new Red Vox album will be premiering after Pizza Tower at like around 10.30, and then we're going to do a band discussion as well. We have videos for every song, so I'll be rating the Red Vox channel after that. But that's why I'm in a little bit of a rush. And again, I know some people aren't interested. Let me have this. It's only like once a year. <laughs> uh, if that. So, yeah, every song has a video, but... We'll do that after Pizza Tower. Uh, just on a side note about this remake, you've heard me say it. XSplit Darkness aside, um, one of the best looking Switch games, one of the best remasters without it being a complete remake. And I think they did a really great job with this and I love playing it and I'm happy it exists. I really hope the same thing happens for 2 and 3 because as a trilogy, they deserve it. And this gives me faith in um, Metroid Prime 4. I hope so. Yeah, it's great. Liquid develop- Liquid. Um, Metroid Prime Remastered. Here, I'll... Uh, let's see if I can show you, like... The Dark Samus scene. Dark Samus scene remastered. I don't have the remastered version. One hundred percent completion. Oh, here it is. So if you get 100% completion, this is what you see. Which is a thread that's setting up the sequels. I mean, since the suit splits, yeah, it just becomes, <laughs> it just becomes its own entity. It's kind of like what they did with Fusion, except the teaser for like Prime 2 and 3, but... Anyway, I would say Prime 2 is maybe even a little better than this in some ways, in my opinion. Uh, but Prime 1 is great, I hope you enjoyed watching it, I loved it. Glad this exists. I'm gonna take a quick break, I'll be back with Pizza Tower. Um, so stick around. Wait, did we make it to the end of the cr No, we didn't. Well, this is the only, um... I think this is the mention of the original staff for Prime, based on the work of Metroid Prime. Development staff. Yeah. I mean, you can still look up who made it, but that's still... It would be nice to have just, like, the, the list. I mean, even though it is dark, like, yeah, there's supposed to be some, like, red on the side of the screen. It, yeah, I don't know. X-Split is, is poop. 
Percentage complete 87%, total time 12 minutes 10 seconds, and hard difficulty and some new extras. Twelve minutes, chat. I told you I was going for a world record. It was a good speed run. If I had more time, I would try to check out some of the extras, but... Um... Hmm. After your card handles color profiles, you should turn it off for X-Split. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Maybe, like, video input or something? Video output? Oops. I don't know. Uh, Alright. Alright, chat. I'll be back. Let me just, um... get Pizza Tower ready. I'm gonna get um a, I'm gonna get some pee in the toilet, and uh, I know you needed to know that, and some soul food and some Hoot Wireless, and I'll be right back. Hoot Wireless. <laughs>